Menin Gate Memorial in Upper, Ypres, Belgium. At the entrance to the ancient city of Ypres stands an arch inscribed with the names of British and Commonwealth soldiers who were killed in the battles to defend the Ypres salient in World War I. The city of Ypres, historically a center of the cloth trade, has been fortified since medieval times. The original fortifications were improved by French engineer and military leader Vauban in the 17th century. Today, the most interesting and touching part of the ramparts is the Menin Gate, marking the departure point from which hundreds of thousands of soldiers left to the front lines of Ypres salient, never to return. The Menin Gate Memorial to the Missing is a war memorial in Ypres, Belgium, dedicated to the British and Commonwealth soldiers who were killed in the Ypres salient of World War I and whose graves are unknown. The memorial is located at the eastern exit of the town and marks the starting point for one of the main roads out of the town that led Allied soldiers to the front line. Designed by Sir Reginald Blomfield and built by the Imperial War Graves Commission, the Menin Gate Memorial was unveiled on July 24, 1927. Reginald Blomfield's Triumphal Arch, designed in 1921, is the entry to the barrel vaulted passage for traffic through the mausoleum that honors the missing, who have no known graves. The patient lion on the top is the Lion of Britain but also the Lion of Flanders. It was chosen to be a memorial as it was the closest gate of the town to the fighting, and so Allied troops would have marched past it on their way to fight. Actually, most troops passed out of the other gates of Ypres, as the Menin Gate was too dangerous due to shell fire. Its large hall of memory contains names on stone panels of 54,395 Commonwealth soldiers who died in the salient but whose bodies have never been identified or found. On completion of the memorial, it was discovered to be too small to contain all the names as originally planned. An arbitrary cut-off point of August 15, 1917 was chosen and the names of 34,984 UK missing after the state were inscribed on the time cut memorial to the missing instead. The Menin Gate Memorial does not list the names of the missing of New Zealand and Newfoundland soldiers, who were instead honored on separate memorials. The inscription inside the archway is similar to the one at Tyne Cot, with the addition of a prefatory Latin phrase, ad majorum de glorium to hear are recorded names of officers and men who fell in the Ypres salient, but to whom the fortune of war denied the known and honored burial given to their comrades in death. The Latin phrase means to the greater glory of God. Both this inscription, and the main overhead inscription on both the east and west facing facades of the arch, were composed by Rudyard Kipling. 5. On the opposite side of the archway to that inscription is the shorter dedication, they shall receive a crown of glory that fadeth not away. There are also Latin inscriptions set in circular panels either side of the archway, on both the east and west sides, pro patria and pro ridge, for country and for king. A French inscription mentions the citizens of Ypres. Erige par les nations de l'Empire Britannique en l'honneur de l'Ears Mort's monument au Sadefred aux Citoyens de Papour l'Ornement de l'Ears Site et en commemoration d'Ages ou l'Armée Britannique la Defendu contre l'Empire, which translated into English means, erected by the nations of the British Empire in honor of their dead. This monument is offered to the citizens of Ypres for the ornament of their city and in commemoration of the days where the British Army defended it against the invader. Reaction to the Menin Gate, the first of the Imperial, now Commonwealth, War Graves Commission's memorials to the missing, ranged from its condemnation by the war poet Siegfried Sassoon, to praise by the Austrian writer Stefan Zweig. Sassoon described the Menin Gate in his poem on passing the new Menin Gate, saying that the dead of the Ypres salient would deride the sepulchre of crime. Zweig, in contrast, praised the simplicity of the memorial and lack of overt triumphalism, and said that it was more impressive than any triumphal arch or monument to victory that I have ever seen. Blomfield himself said that this work of his was one of three that he wanted to be remembered by. To this day, the remains of missing soldiers are still found in the countryside around the town of Ypres. Typically, such finds are made during building work or road mining activities. Any human remains discovered receive a proper burial in one of the war cemeteries in the region. 
If the remains can be identified, the relevant name is removed from the mean and gate. Like us and join us at Xtreme Collections for more fun and knowledge.